Good morning, folks. We had some more filaments destabilize and erupt violently from the disk. It's a good lesson in filament instability. And given the lack of solar flaring, it behooves us to pay attention to them. Despite the size of the Earth-facing sunspots, they're not flaring because they're magnetically simple. Positive and negative umbras are split and separated. So that's why we're watching the filaments. They can erupt just like sunspots, but they don't give us a flare warning beforehand. So all of these thin dark ropes shimmying around in the corona are something to watch as they cross into an Earth-facing position, both north and south. Let's come over to the solar wind, because a new wave with slight density and speed pushes has swept past our planet. Near-Earth electron flows hit the floor. We are one day closer to the solar conjunction of Venus. Because it's Venus, it's already effectively conjoined for earthquake purposes because of how slow it all plays out. But yesterday, that rising factor also got a dark patch coming in and entered the Earth-facing fourth of our star. It's a coronal hole, and we promised an uptick, but I couldn't have expected it that quickly. A 6.9 struck the Solomon Islands overnight, most active place on Earth this year. While the West Pacific storms have done their damage and or are ramping down, Hawaii might be getting pre-sunrise sprites if they look in the right direction. This storm is well organized and is actually slated to hit the Big Island later this week. Southern heat and moisture converges with cooler dry air from the north in the Midwest and into the eastern states tonight. In Europe, the convergence curling out to the Atlantic shares the top watch with flash floods in central low-lying areas. Down under, high pressures keeping most of the moisture out to sea. Featured today, website members were still hoping you catch up on at least the last couple Fly on the Wall episodes. Some important short and long-term discussions have worked their way through the wire. Everybody else, consider either our East or West U.S. conference. Earthquakes, the sun, electricity, plasma, proactivity, controversies, a crossing planet, lots of reasons to come hear what we have to say. We've got your current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone. Thank <laughs> you.